The sky is super clear today and will remain clear throughout the night. This will be ideal for viewing the Orionid meteor shower, which is now at its peak. So, what is the best way to view these shooting stars? Hi, I'm Pat Prokop. Let's talk about that and where to look, when to look, and how to look. Tonight's meteor shower is called the Orionids as these meteors, or shooting stars, radiate from a portion of the sky in an area known as the constellation of Orion the Hunter. The central point will be from his raised right hand holding a big club. <laughs> By the way, it's using this club to ward off Taurus the bull. Uh, this feature of the nighttime sky will be low in the east at around midnight and high in the southern sky by 5 a.m. So, to view the meteors, you will want to have a good view of the east and southeastern sky after midnight. Also, the darker your area, the more meteors you will be able to see. The best place will be at the beaches and in dark fields. The darker the area, the more meteors you, sh you should be able to spot, about 15 to 20 meteors per hour. Within brighter light polluted areas, you'll see less meteors. These shooting stars are composed of leftover debris from the tail of Halley's Comet. Yeah, Halley's Comet. And are actually only the size of little grains of sand or up to the size of peas. And vaporize as they enter the upper portions of the Earth's atmosphere. This vaporization is what you see and takes only about one to three seconds. And it, it appears as a fast moving streak of light. While you are viewing the nighttime sky in anticipation of catching the sight of these meteors or shooting stars, you will also see brighter objects up in the sky or bright looking stars. In actuality, these are the planets, two of which will be very bright. Saturn will be a dim yellow looking star on the other side of the sky dome in the west and will set before 3 a.m. Next is Neptune, but you won't be able to see that planet as it's too far away and you need a telescope. However, right beyond that is mighty Jupiter shining as a brilliant white and will be the brightest object in the sky tonight. Uranus, or Uranus, is next, but like Neptune, it's too dim to see, but you will be able to see it only with the aid of a telescope. After Uranus, will be the fiery ruddy red Mars. Mars is now the second brightest nighttime object other than the moon and will certainly catch your attention. Once you spot Mars, look onto that portion of the sky because just below Mars is where the area where most of the meteors will radiate out of. Uh, to the right of Mars, by the way, is a cluster of seven stars known as the Pleiades, or the Seven Sisters, and you should be able to see them as a fuzzy patch of stars grouped together. I took this picture last night, and through the telescope you can see the light from those stars beaming through an area of dust and gases, giving off a blue color. And not too far away from the eastern portion of Orion is the so-called flower in the sky, the Rosette Nebula. Again, I pointed the telescope to that area last night, actually early this morning, and took a picture of that. You certainly need a telescope and time exposures to capture the beauty of this flower in space. The moon won't rise until about 3 o'clock in the morning tonight and then 4 o'clock tomorrow night, which is a good thing as it will not greatly interfere with the viewing of the meteor shower. If you do miss the shower tonight, you should be able to see it again tomorrow night as the peak is tonight and tomorrow night into Friday morning. And through that time period, our sky should remain clear. Remember, your eyes usually take about 10 to 15 minutes to adjust to the darkness of the night. So keep that in mind and try not to look at any bright lights, including your phone and your tablets. That will decrease your nighttime dark vision. If you do need some form of light, use a red light if you have one. It will be chilly during the night, so dress accordingly. Some people even set up lounge chairs and wear a jacket and cover up with a blanket to view the event. It's even more fun to view the event with friends, and every time someone sees a meteor, they would shout out, Meteor! Have fun viewing the show tonight, and remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders, and all in a sky near you. Happy viewing!